The vineyard of Chablis. Delicious wine. Ninety seven kilometers. Almost a hundred. And we're almost in Chablis. White territory. I'm faster than him. <laughs> no, he's he's nice enough not to overtake me. Very grateful for that. One hundred. Hey, yeah, I broke my record. New record today. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Made it! 100k today, great. And no pain, that's the main thing. Because 100k, if you are destroyed, if your body is destroyed, it's useless. But I feel like a, like a bird. My friends, what's the first thing to do? When you arrive in a town like that, go buy some wine. So let's go buy some wine. Let's go buy some Chablis in the city of Chablis. As you can see up there, the, the vineyards. So let's have a visit first. Thanks. Jean-Pierre Looks like a beautiful small uh, tourist city. There is a degustation which means you can try the wine everywhere basically. I bought some two things. I bought some sausage, some dry sausage, but it's a, it's a fancy one then. So it's like a saucisson. And I bought some pate. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's with with the andouille and and some and some wine, I think. It's wine from here because the the family wine is here. So I've got some bread, of course. And God also in my food panier. I got what's left, so I got fruit. I've got tablecloth. <laughs> you need to be you need to have tablecloth. Look at my tablecloth. <laughs> A fork and a knife at the same time. I've got some cheese, camembert of course. The Swiss knife, got some fish, some macro, and what's left there? There is some bread left over. There is some dry sausage, another one, not a fancy one. And uh, that's everything left is nuts, our nuts. And the most important thing, that's where we are, Chablis. So it's party time. It's, it's good because going south, and uh, you can see the vegetation is changing a little bit. And, uh, and today I was happy to hear for the first time since I left the cicadas, because the, the cicadas in France are very associated with south and France. And, um, and good weather, basically. And I have to say, 
I'm drinking white wine with um, cured meat. It's not it's not good, but it's not the best way to to enjoy the wine. But the white wine should be more with fish, with some things that are soft. Probably camembert is a disaster for the for the white wine. But anyway, it's, I don't have anything to cook. I'm not gonna cook fish to try it. I, I want to try the local wine. I think it's probably my I think it's my favorite white wine. That's good. It's a little warm. White wine usually you, you drink it cold. But uh, what can I do? I'm camping, so I don't have a fridge with me on my bike. I don't have a fridge on my bike, so I just drink however it is. Mm. Let's try the pâté. The pâté from the Meilleur Ouvrier de France, which is like best worker in France. Well, you have somebody on you. Mm. 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 You can feel the, the guts. Oh, the, the stomach parts, oh, it's fantastic. I'm, I'm a pate lover. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Mm. Oh. Compared to the, to the um, industrial one, it's like oh, nothing to see. It's that's heaven. Mm. 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 I'm drinking the wine and between the trees I can see the vineyards. Ah, great. You see, you can, you, you can, by the shape of the bottle, you know where is it from, because the this shape, like the, the, the wines from Bordeaux, are go straight up, and and it goes straight up, and then sharply goes back to the to this part. It goes like that. So the bottle, while the while the Bourgogne, the, the wine from Burgundy, is really like. You don't have a, a sharp, a sharp turn, basically a sharp uh, turn here. Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Morning, my friends. Let's continue our journey to Vézelay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to do the navigation at the same time as um, as filming, and uh, I just have two hands, so so I have to basically steer with the same hands I'm I'm using to to hold the camera. Oh, another war between France and Germany. 
Here it's <laughs> 1870. That was the first, the first of the three wars between France and Germany. This one did not become a world war, but it was the root of the two following ones, which means that the, the war of uh, 1870 was the root of First World War. And of course, First World War created Second World War because of the way the Allies uh, treated Germany in the um, armistice. So yeah, after this video, I'll make a break on the on the videos, just to publish a, a few some videos I have from from when I, I trained myself on, on vlogging. In 2019, I went to uh, I was working in Indonesia, and at some point when I, I had vacation, I went to Brunei to to Brunei Brunei Darussalam on, on Borneo Island to um, to try to to try to vlog to see if I. I would be able to vlog or not and so and I edited a few a few films with this uh, training after this video vlogging training in uh, in Brunei Darussalam in Borneo so it's uh, I think it's seven videos I'll publish them quite quickly maybe one every every other day and uh, yeah well in the meantime I will I will keep traveling and then after the seven training videos from Brunei you'll see again the, how my uh, e-bike journey is going enjoying the view of the wow the view is absolutely wonderful the view over the the Chablis vineyards really stunning And behind you can see Vesely already. So we've made it to Akka. And now I'm on my way. On foot. To Vesely, finally, wow, I don't know if you, well, you, I guess you didn't feel it, but the first day was, uh, well, I did a hundred kilometers, was, uh, was fine, very happy, good weather, it was a fantastic day. Oh my God, the second day, I thought, well, the second day, you know, it's just 50 kilometers. It's going to be finger in the nose. <laughs> Easy. Oh my God. Knee pain from the beginning. <laughs> Some rain. <laughs> Headache from the sun also. <laughs> too much sun, too much rain. <sighs> <laughs> Was not a good day. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like every time I cycle one day is good and one day is not good anyway we made it to Vesele and now I'm walking towards uh, 
from Aquin to Vézelay, just a few kilometers walking. Yeah, it was, it was built on a rocky promontory. It was also the starting point of the Third Crusade. That's where um, Richard the Lion Hurt and uh, I don't remember the name of the French king. Uh, they met here in Vézelay to start their journey to Jerusalem for the Third Crusade. Let's walk to Vézelay. There we go in the fortified town of Vézelay. You know, the basilica is very impressive. We can see it from here. It's very big. You know, like generations of people have spent their life building those buildings. They did nothing else, basically. With the building, they have somehow a piece of eternity. Their work is not... They don't reach eternity, but their work lasts for very long. But at the same time, the, um, well, that's the only thing they did during their life. They just built this building. And... Uh, and then they were uh, smashed in their taxes and they had to pay to the church. So they could not do anything else but build all those magnificent buildings. And uh, and that's it.